In this one, we're going to check the high temperature limit, and I'll show you where it is to start off with. Okay, you look right in there. That's it, right wow. there. Here's right another. There. Notice that little button on top? That means it's manual reset. That if that, it's a high temperature limit. There's one right there. You can just barely see it. There you go. You can see it now. Those are all manual reset limits. We're not going to be testing those, but we are going to be testing this one. Now, in order to test this, we do not disconnect the wires. We overheat the furnace just like it would happen in the real world. So, how do we do that? Okay, now we're down at the IFC. This is the IFC right here. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to disconnect the fan. Now, this is maybe a little more complicated than it seems. and You better figure out what you're doing before you get too rambunctious on this. But I will show uh, a couple of things here. This is a white wire coming from the fan. Most of the fan motors, not all, but most of them have a common wire that's white. Now, because I have this thing shut off, there's a door switch on it, so that when it, uh, uh, the door is open, it shuts it down. I will also turn off the power at the, uh, uh, there should be a switch, like a light switch or something around the furnace, someplace like that, so as I don't get myself electrocuted. And I'm going to take this wire here, and I can see it going back to the blower, and take that Okay, I pulled that wire off. That's that white wire. And I'll jam it up in there someplace where it does not short the ground. And this will keep the fan from starting uh, when it's supposed to, so the furnace will overheat. Producer's on. Up here kind of looking at the burners. Hot surface igniter should be coming on in a minute. Here it's coming on. Okay. We proved flame because our flame rod was hooked up. Now, it's going to try to turn on the blower, but you got about a 30 second wait on most of these things after the burner's light, and then the uh, motor should come on. It's not going to come on, nothing's going to happen, it's just going to sit there. Okay, I heard a little click down there in the, in the IFC, and uh, that's probably trying to turn on the fan motor. But the furnace, furnace is just going to sit here and continue to heat up. Okay, burners went off. Got a five uh, blink, which is limit switch off. Okay, so you know the limit switch safety's out as it should safety out. If it did not safety out and just kept heating, after this thing goes for four or five minutes, I better get this thing turned off because it's going to cook the heat exchange. Anyway, we know that works. And the next one we will be uh, servicing and cleaning up uh, some of these parts.